Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Smite Beta. Now, so many changes have gone into this and I covered that in a different video, but this one is completely about their daily matches, which you can see right now. Match of the day, Lion's Den, which is all on her. That just blew up my ears, I apologize for you as well. Ow. All on her, all arena, all the time. Now I'm very excited about this change to the match and or changes to the way that everybody plays and everything because they also added in a bunch of other things which I covered in the other video and the daily match will add even another. Everybody has to pick on her. So hard to choose who I want to be. And just imagine it's like the possibilities of five honors on both sides. Unless you have this skin, it's going to be massively confusing to anybody who's never played this. I'm not sure if this will be able to... Yeah, it is kind of dumb to have champion select with this, but I'm not sure if you... <laughs> That's so weird to see. If you don't have on her, if you wouldn't be able to do this. But I assume that you would be able to because it's the, like, match of the day. Which will rotate with domination. So every 12 minutes, one of the matches will launch. So technically, every 6 minutes you can play. That's a lot of on hers. Okay. <laughs> Hi res had so many problems with their servers before we were getting on in, in on this. But, um... I'm glad that they did this. So let's see what I... Okay, so it's just general damage stuff. The stats, I love that you can do that. And these, no more passives, but they are dirt cheap. Movement, there you go. Good enough for me. So this is going to be a really, really, really interesting match. Oh crap, they changed the arena area. And all the builds that are going to go into these different honors is going to be so funny. Ooh. Oh, he hit me. I missed. I hit the wall. Whew. Get back out. Out of here on her. <laughs> Where else can you hear that and be possibly speaking to... Oh my god, look at all the obelisks. And be possibly speaking to five other... Nine other gods. And... Oh. Are we gonna get the kill? I think I'm gonna get him. I think I'm gonna get him. Oh! Run away! I can make it. I can make this. Get out of here. Woohoo! Only problem is they all have the jumps too. They got the hops. Okay. They don't have the hops. <laughs> but as you can see, that's so weird. I mean, you can be used to playing against one of the other gods, but I have never had anything like this where literally I'm under attack by five of myself and have four of myself backing me up. It's just so strange. I wonder also if, because of the way on hers shifting sands move works, if the... <laughs> if the sands, like, intermingle. Oh man, imagine the burst that can happen in this. All, all ten of us unlaunch, uh, launch our alts at the same time. Be hilarious. I see you on her. I see you. I see you. And I see you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. This is so weird. Everyone's just like, jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out. Ooh. Ooh.
Let's help out this honor. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Let's help out myself. So this is just a normal game of arena, pretty much just with the changes to the um, god selection. Now also, let's see, what would I want to do? Yeah, the Talus would be an awesome move for on her. As you can see, you can see the like blue outline of on her and on her over there. And then you can, let's see if I can get a red outline to pop up. Come on, come on, go behind it. See that red outline? It's a nice cool change to add in that will let us more easily identify Eat that. <laughs> totally useless knockback. But it lets you easily identify who is friend, who is foe, and it's only for relevant information. So if there's someone who's going to be like not out of not in line of sight, you won't be able to see them. So that's why I had to kinda work to see the enemy on hers out there. Get out of here. Let's B. And go back to base real quick. This on her's gonna smack me. Thank you, on her and on her. <laughs> so the changes to Fatalis is amazing for on her, I believe, because it increases with your successful attacks, your movement speed, attack speed, and physical damage by 3% each, stacking up to 9 times. Or stacking up to 9%. And that combined with how on her is totally reliant on his auto attack really is going to be super powerful. Ooh. Especially since it gives a lot of attack uh, speed, which is very helpful. I see you. Whoop. 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 Oh, 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 oh. This 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 is getting this is getting too much for me. I must say I need life steal soon though. Just get out of here. Okay, what do they have for life steal nowadays? I don't even know. Life steal. Only three. Hmm. Good enough. That still hasn't changed, so I like that. Some of the changes are interesting and some of the changes are just weird. I mean they even catered to the we have a lot of magical tanks and like Freya who is magical but melee, there's an item catered pretty much exactly to that. Gives physical power but reduces on successful hits the target's magical armor, uh, uh, magical protection for a certain amount of time and decreases it by a small amount um, every five seconds for a couple of seconds. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, so many jumps, so many hops. Eat that. Oh, oh. I, I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. 30 focus on Soul Leader. Wow, that's so... Oh, I'm getting that. Focus for me will increase the stun time when I stun someone and also increase the slow on this as well as increasing the amount of damage um, increase on it. So let's... Oh, I was not able to save him. Eat that. And this. And some of this. And some of those. Oh, go away. Tooltip. Okay, I do need a... Oh, that was really a waste of an ult. I do need a cooldown reduction because I'm lacking in that department at the moment. Okay, let's slow that on her. I can't even tell whose obelisks are mine or whose are the enemies every now and then. This is this is on just lion filled madness. My hops. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Running.
Why was he still coming after us? He should have ran. Oh, crap. No! Oh, I made it. Okay. Got a little bit of life steal. Got a little bit of focus. Focus fire. Huh. Oop, I was gonna jump on him and end that, but looks like someone else beat me to the punch. I love focus on Arachne. It's so strong. A two second stun on her rap is way more powerful than you would expect. Oh god, there's so many obelisks. Oh, oh, so much damage, so much damage. Toss up, toss up the obelisk. Let's get a soul eater because that will help everybody out a lot. Oh, they all, they all have a good idea with um, rage. Ooh, such a nice item. It's so weird too how we're all almost exactly the same level. We do seem to have the upper hand, though, so that is a good thing. Oh, I was not able to save on her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No one expects me to run towards him. Run. Right, right. Eat sand. This match is just insane. We actually are all going pretty similar builds. That's very amusing. Okay, let's get a cooldown percentage. And using this is really nice because it gives some focus, some cooldown reduction, as well as physical power. And whenever I use an ability for the next five seconds, I believe it said. I will get a increase to the amount. Oh, Ooh. I will get an increase to the amount of damage I do with my next auto attack. Ooh. I saw that. I saw. I saw you. And I'm running, running, running. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. So many on her. <laughs> Let's just beware the shifting sands over and over. So this is actually really powerful. It's to even out the differences between the physical and magical items because there was a magical item that did that and it would take your magical power and make you hit for that amount with your next auto attack. That was so strong, but oh wow, you can I didn't even think of this, but you can make like solid walls with this. Oh, that was really, really dumb on my fault part. There we go, and get out of here. Yes! Yes! Oh, so close! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ooh, jump! Oh jeez! No! 38 health! Run! Honor save me! <laughs> this game is insane! And as you can tell, I'm enjoying this very much. <laughs> Another strange thing that they did is they removed the health buff from the game completely. You can no longer get it in um, Conquest Ranked, this, or Domination. I don't know why they would remove it. I mean, to me, there was no real point of that. But now they also did add in normal jungle mobs, where you can literally just go in and kill some jungle mobs to get some XP. They don't reward any buffs or anything, but... It's nice to see that they would think and put that in. Also, they added the speed buff to Arena, but... I, I don't see that as being as 
interesting a change as before because really it's not that needed. Hey, Anha, get out of here. Hey, hey, run, run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in. Just spray and pray. Stun. Oh, oh, this Anha's going down. Oh, I thought he was going down, but he didn't. Oh, I'm dying. And Anha, you are silly to run straight at me as you are experiencing sand. Sandy! Conditions. Oh, no. I can save you, Anha. Here's some slow. There's a pillar there. Which I think actually me jumping just saved my hide. Dun -tsh. Let's pick our next item. Crit chance and it's gonna be rage. With rage they changed it set. Whoop. And jump. And Oh. I missed. Oh well. They changed it so that now. Ooh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm taking hits. Whenever you get a hit with your basic attack, it says basic hand, then you'll increase your crit chance by 5% stacking until you get another crit. So it'll stack up to 10 times, but that's really good for, say, Artemis. I mean, she's all about crits. All about damn crits. <laughs> We're all just like, hit him, please. Yeah, double kill. Double kill, boy. Double stun. Eat sand. As long as I stay near the Onhurs, too, we will all have a little bit of life steal and. Oh, oh, that was smart. What nice smart is this? Or this? Get, get, whoa! Wow, that was almost really bad. No, you shall not catch me. Silly cat. Silly, silly mutt. Get out of here. I don't want to see you guys ever again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bad position. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, so close. I almost had him too. Awesome. I will be critting out the wazoo now. Now, you used to be able to press P and it will bring up your character screen every moment to talk and not have to worry about dying horribly by on her wrath and fury so now you go to the store and you click on stats and you'll see physical power magical stats defense stats all of those and you'll be able to upgrade them for a small amount of in-game gold so I have 220 gold right now and let's say I need some physical penetration there we go 5% but I don't have it on any items or anything just from that it's from what I see pretty much a way to make at the end end of like really intense close ranked matches which I've been in a lot and sometimes they get really down to the wire and really 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 close <laughs> she's blocked by obelisks let's yeah spike to the face kills you kills you dead and let's uh let's ignore that on her let's ignore that on her i'm gonna I'm gonna ignore him Ooh, where is he where'd he go <gasps> oh i got a kill out of it it was worth it 
And imagine this is the beginning game too. I mean, you could get your normal items, but then you could stack a little bit of lifesteal just to get you through. Because I know at very low levels, lifesteal is very important to keep you up for those very, very intense fights. Now I'm going to grab this, even though we're pretty much finished with this, with a win. But I want to get into the fray faster. Sprint! I'm going. I'm killing. I'm just going to kill all the creeps. I'm going to kill this on her. And will I be able to kill him? Nope, but we took the win. It's pretty awesome. Whew. I mean, that's the daily match. Now I'll be able to get out of this, and they fixed the chat system too, so you can say, like, good game and talk before again. You wouldn't be able to before, but... Let's see what the daily quest, pretty much, will be in the next one. Oh, please don't bug out. The servers have been super unstable here. I do think they bugged out, so whew, I will have to exit the game and forcibly re-enter to show you what the next daily quest might be. Well, after a lot of fighting with Smite, and also this is actually the next day, I'm not even <laughs> recording this at the same time because, well, it's so bugged out right now, the servers are all messed up, and the high-res hasn't really said anything on it, but really it's, it's bothersome. <laughs> So I hope they fix it soon, because as you can see, the daily thing isn't up right now. You can get Arena or Conquest, you can do a solo practice match, or, or you can do the custom, but you, you really can't do much right now. I mean, the match of the day doesn't even show up, you click on it, and there you go, gone. So, But that was a look at the match of the day, which in this case it was Lion's Den. Pretty awesome game mode, I would say. I mean, it gets you into a match that you would otherwise never do. I mean... Where in the world would you ever think you could do 10 honors <laughs> against each other? It was pretty crazy. There was obelisks everywhere and knockbacks everywhere. So that's it for now. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Go ahead and check out the other videos that just cover all the general changes. Once the server's steady, all these will come out. So if you want to go check those out, go on ahead. Father Christmas is here and is happy and jingle hell. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Merry Christmas, people! <laughs> That's all for now. I'll see you next time.